Well, welcome back. What does a 100% zero emission short haul truck look like? Well, as you can imagine, the outside may not be much different than other trucks, but under the hood is where the magic takes place. Our team recently went to Vision Motors to take a look at cutting edge technology that uses fuel cells for power, and it's being tested at the port of Long Beach. So next stop, El Segundo, California, headquarters of Vision Motors. At first glance, this industrial building in El Segundo, California looks like any other. But inside, the people of Vision Motor Corp recently unveiled a stunning glimpse into the future of goods movement here in the San Pedro Bay Ports region. This is the Vision Tyrano, the world's first zero admission fuel cell powered class 8 heavy duty truck. That's right, zero emissions, zero CO2, zero fossil fuels, and zero carbon footprint. The Tyrano is equipped with electric hydrogen fuel cell technology and will soon be operating at the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles. I do believe today vision becomes reality, the future of transportation, and the start of the hydrogen economy, where heavy emission trucks transport cargo containers using renewable zero emission fuel, which means, of course, you all know, zero pollution. Well, this day is about, you know, it's about jobs. It's about breaking our dependence on foreign oil. It's about clean air. It's about the environment. This is a huge, huge day. It runs on hydrogen. Hydrogen, through a fuel cell, makes electricity. So it's, that is the onboard generator. That electricity is used to do recharge your batteries that are on board. So it's an electric truck with an onboard, you know, charger. And the hydrogen, when it makes electricity, the only um, thing that it emits is pure H2O. So you could actually put a water faucet, you know, on your dashboard and drink it. A ceremonial handing over of the keys from Vision Motor Corp to Total Transportation Services, Inc. made it official. TTSI, a local trucking company with a reputation for being on the forefront of environmental stewardship, will operate one of these trucks under typical short haul conditions at both ports over the next year. And a second truck will be operated by California Cartage Company. If these trucks perform as they're expected, we could see huge gains in cleaner air throughout the region. We want to see the reliability. We want to make sure that the fuel cells will hold up. We want to make sure that uh, it's going to deliver the range that we're anticipating it's going to deliver. So th those are the and, the, and of course the power. We have to have the power. The power is the key. And the nice thing we like about the hydrogen technology as, a, as opposed to a full battery technology is that we don't need a long extension cord. It, when we start to diminish in power, all we have to do is replenish the hydrogen, we're off and rolling again. So it's, a, it's very mobile. So we're, and we're not locked into having to get back to a, uh, a charging source every day. With some cargo containers weighing up to 90,000 pounds, power is a top priority for alternative-fueled engines. But don't let the silent motor fool you. They have guts galore and a current range of about 400 miles over an eight-hour shift. This truck has 3,300 pounds per foot in torque, which is you know, almost double the biggest diesel out there. This thing accelerates like a, like a tram. This truck, believe it or not, if we didn't uh, tone it down, will go zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. So this truck has a lot of power. We actually have to tone it down so it doesn't become a race vehicle. It almost sounds like science fiction, but the future of clean goods movement is clearly here. Thanks in part to a unique program called TAP, the Technology Advancement Program, which is jointly funded by the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles at $3 million annually. The program's purpose? Seek out and fund promising clean air technologies. When we find those, then the ports invest in them and, and further their development and test them to see if they truly can be adapted to the port in environment. We, obviously, what's happening in the port is a lot of big stuff, a lot of really heavy stuff, and we need to find clean ways to move it. So these trucks are, are one example of that and a very promising example. You know, these are amazing times that we're living in. A heavy-duty truck that emits no pollution? How fantastic is that? Come on, let's, let's hear it for vision. The goal is for cleaner, greener, smarter vehicles. 
The goal is to break the gasoline habit, and we're making astonishing progress in that direction. Since the Port of Long Beach introduced its landmark Clean Trucks program, truck-related emissions within the port have been reduced by nearly 90%, an incredible gain for cleaner air. And with the unveiling of the Vision Tirano, it's easy to be dazzled by even greater possibilities. Could this mark the beginning of a zero emissions trade culture? It's certainly a move in that direction. That's what I call clean. The chemical reaction results in no pollution. By encouraging the development of innovative technologies like these hydrogen-powered trucks, it's only a matter of time until zero-admission vehicles become the norm at the Port of Long Beach.